What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today I'm going to be reacting to Brian Justin Crumb's Creep performance on America's Got Talent. This is in 2016, and apparently it's amazing. And before we start, make sure you subscribe, hit that notifications button, that little bell, so you don't miss out on the next reaction, sing better in seconds, or tutorial that we do here at Tara Simon Studios channel. Let's go. It would mean the world to get through the next round. The stakes are so take high. Every single act. There's a lot of singers in this competition. That's really, really frightening. There's only six spots left. It's like the Hunger Games for and vocalists. We're kind of battling each other out right That's now. That's what it feels like, anyway. It was generally a good night. Yeah, it's a great night of talent. Okay, guys, last act. Last act coming right up. We Hi. meet again. It's good to be back. Just remind me, where are you from again? Uh, I live in Los Angeles. And how old are you? I'm 28. 28. Who are you here with tonight? I have my mom here. Aww, Aww. Mama. When you dream Such of being a, a singer, where do you see yourself? Sure. Well, I want people to feel things when I sing, and that's the goal. That's a good goal, buddy. I'm Brian Justin Crum. I'm 28. I'm a singer, and I drive for a car service. Growing up, I was just so happy. I loved to sing. I would dance down the hallways. But you know, I had a lot of hard times at school. That won't scare me away. I was overweight. And I definitely knew from the time I was six or seven that I was gay. That brought a lot of bullying my way. In elementary school, they would whisper behind his back that he was gay. More middle school, high school, it was He'd walk by and someone would just call him a faggot. That was really hard for him, for that to happen. I used to fall on my knees and pray for him. That's what it was like. You built your wall so, so high sorry. that no one could climb it. I thought, you know, maybe these kids are right about me. Maybe I am just like, worthless. But my mom believed in me and gave me the confidence to be who I am. That's First audition awesome. went so well. And I got a standing ovation. It felt so amazing. You got <laughs> four huge yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. America's Got Talent can change your life. And it just lit a fire in me to open myself up some more. I'm going to take all the pain and everything that I went through and focus all of that into this performance. Good for you. All right. I'm excited to hear Good him luck. sing now. More so than before. And right before we start, I just want to say this. Um, what happened just then, that's called couch time. And for those of you who are dreaming of possibly being on one of these shows, you need to know what your couch time is just as much as you know the song that you're going to audition for. Because as you can see with the heart tugging music underneath his story and the story in and of itself, which is very compelling, very emotional. I mean, I wanted to cry. That's what makes these shows. And they know that. So they're not just looking for people who can sing great. They're looking for people with good couch time. So guys, write in the comments, what is your couch time? Here we go. When you were here before Ooh, I love him already. Couldn't look you in the eye like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather Ooh. in a beautiful world I love the suspense right here You're so very special Special. Yes. But I'm a creep. 
just a little flat at the beginning, got up to it though. Love how he uses his consonants. Very good. I don't belong here. Nice cry there on I. Oh, yes. Oh, he's running out. He's running Ooh. I, I gotta shave my legs. I just got goosebumps he's everywhere. He's running out. Ooh. He's running We gotta stop there. We gotta stop there because I have got to listen to that again. Okay, so first of all, I'm a sucker for dissonance, okay? Especially when the vocals are what creates the dissonance underneath the chord. And for you guys who don't know what dissonance is, it's that crunchy feeling of uh, something not being resolved, that that unresolution. Is that a word? Disresolve? I don't know. Anyway, it's that. It's that ah, when the chord is ooh, it's that mm, kind of crunch, that rubbing togetherness. Wow, what a great job he did at holding that note, the vocal control, and then he held that note, and then he still didn't take a breath, and he went down farther. And it wasn't like when he ended the note, you could tell that he needed a breath. So then you're wondering, how much longer could he have held it? And that's always what I'm trying to get out of my vocalist. Don't end a note to where your audience is like, well, that's definitely all they've got. Like, you, you never want that. It's kind of like, you know, wearing clothes that are so revealing, everybody's like, well, I know exactly what you look like naked. You want to leave a little bit of mystery, right? I mean, kind of, I feel like so, maybe. Um, you know, nothing against you if you don't, but I've, if there's this thing of like, you know, leave something for the imagination, and that's what he did. At the end of that note, it wasn't like, oh, I held it really long and I've got nothing left. I held it really, really long and now I'm ending it just normal, like I didn't really hold it long. And so then you're leaving the audience wondering, well, how much longer could you have held it if you're not purple in the face and like, <gasps> as you stop the note, right? Wow, we gotta listen to that again. That was so, 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 so good. And I gotta back it up a long way so that I don't miss part of it. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, head voice. Oh my gosh. I'm a queen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then, and then he went from that hugeness, right? That big chest hugeness, which by the way, he ended perfectly on the downbeat. I don't know if you were counting and noticed that, but it was like the perfect timing to end those notes. And then he went from head voice into breathy chest voice again on the octave lower. Wonderful decrescendo of intonation, of melodic line, of emotional uh, context, just beautiful, just fade, beautiful um, crescendo down in all ways. That was beautiful. We gotta, we gotta watch part of that again. That's so good. For you guys who are wondering how to make people's toes curl vocally, take, take notes, that's it right there. And then down the octave and the breath that he imparts there so well done Brian Justin Crum. God bless you. Goodness. Look at that mama. You you be proud, mom. Mm-hmm. Bless his heart. And how healing is it for him to feel that love and that acceptance and that applause on a stage after the life that he's had growing up? Good for you, honey. Yay. Simon. 
When you go on a show like this and you've got two or three minutes, you've got to find your own lane. Yes. Because if you can turn a song into a performance, people remember you. Yep. And I think you just demonstrated that every time we've seen you, you've put on a performance, yes. which for me is exciting. Yes. But it's actually quite breathtaking. Yes. And he just stood there. It was all about internal coming out. You took your time and told us a story. Yes. And then you exploded in the middle. And to go from that big to then that small at the end of the See? song See? is genius in my eyes. Thank you. What have I been saying? You Hello. You're great. Thank you, Mel. You do give me the chills because you sing with so much passion. And I do. I feel it with you. I think yep. you're one of the best singers we have on the show this season. Aww. You wanted us to feel things, and I definitely did. Did you guys feel things? Comment if you felt things. You know, you said, you said that you want people to feel, but to choose a song and to sing it and to make people feel, and we, I, I think we all feel like we're creep and we're weirdos and we're different, and I, you know, suffer from mental health issues, and we always feel alone, and then we find out we're not, and we all belong yes. here, and it makes the world. And that was a wonderfully moving rendition. Perfect. That's all. Uh, Love that so much. Thank you. Love that. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I really needed a really good feel good video today. And I'm so glad that I got to react to this. Like, this is exactly what I needed today. I hope that it's what you guys needed today, but <laughs> if it's not, I really got a lot out of this. <laughs> so, listen. If you feel alone, if you feel like you don't fit in or if you don't belong, I am here to tell you that everybody feels that way, including me. You are not alone. You are so loved. You matter and you are seen and you are heard. And if you want to feel like Brian Justin Crumb on a stage, but you don't feel like you can, don't discount yourself. Try at least, okay? It's better than to try and fail to have never tried at all. Don't say no to yourself. I would love to help you. My coaches at TSS would love to help you. Check out the description box below this video. There are all sorts of links there to help you on your vocal journey. Let us support you in this. Let us support your dream. You live once, guys, so don't sell yourself short. Don't tell yourself no. At least try, okay? We're here for you. We love you. We're proud of you at TSS. Thank you for being the best part of our channel. Spread kindness. Spread encouragement today. Be be selfless and be a blessing to others. I'll see you guys in the next one.